today we are going to discuss about limited or partial piece tracing so to go or to know about partial or limited piece tracing it is important no? important to know what we mean by full piece tracing so piece trace concrete in which the tensile stresses in the concrete are entirely alleviated at working loads by having sufficiently high pristes in the members so there will be no tensile stress in the concrete so you have given and to alleviate that full portion of tensile stress so you are using the pristes so that's that's why it is known as the full pristesing because the full tensile stress are being alleviated by the pre-stress but in the case of limited or partial pre-stressing the degree of pre-stress applied to concrete in which the tensile stresses to a limited degree are permitted the degree of pre-stress applied to concrete in which tensile stresses to a limited degree are permitted not the full tensile stress are elevated but on some portion of tensile stress are permitted in concrete so you are not fully alleviating the tensile stresses some portion of tensile stress will be there in the member and that's how we are going to design your partially pre-stressed members when you are designing the partial or limited pre-stressing members then you are allowing limited degree of tensile stress to the member but that limited degree of tensile stress will be carried carried by considerable portion of untensioned reinforcement and this portion will be generally used to limit the width of cracks which may develop under the surface loads okay so that limited degree of tension you are allowing uh, for limited uh, or partial piece stressing so so there will be uh, tensile cracks in the members which may come so what will be the advantages of this limited pre-stressing or partially pre-stressing members so in partially pre-stressed members limited tensile stresses are permitted but with controls on the maximum width of cracks and also it will be depending upon the type of pre-stressing and environmental conditions okay so only limited tensile stresses are permitted in the concrete while it will be in service but we are keeping we are tracking the how much width of cracks it may come even you are using limited tensiles as we are allowing but you should not allow the cracks obviously so use of this partial pre-stressing was first proposed by Imperger in 1939 and then further progress in this field was mainly due to the sustained work of Abel's Barken Mayer, Kosci and others. You can, say, you can say that the main point in this favor of partial or limited pre-stressing is that untensioned reinforcements is required in the cross-section of pre-stress member for various reasons such as to resist a differential sinkage, temperature effects and handling stresses which may come during its service. So that can be resisted by this untensioned reinforcement so you can say that this reinforcement this untensioned reinforcement can cater for the serviceability requirements such as control of cracking and partially for the ultimate limit state of collapse which can result in considerable reduction in the costlier high tensile state so the saving in pre-stressing steel contributes to an overall saving in the cost of the structure as you are not 
looking for controlling the full or uh, completely eliminating the tensile stress you are only using for using the precession for limited portion of tensile stress so your requirement of precession still is getting less and also the why when you are using untensional reinforcement which are generally less costly or cheaper sorry cheaper than the high strength high tensile prestation steels and nowadays it is a present practice to use high yield strength deform bars which is considerably cheaper than the prestation steel and at the same time they have higher yield strength better crack control characteristic so as a whole you can say that the saving in prestation steel actually contributing to overall saving in the cost of the structure Another point is that fully pre-stressed members are prone to excessive uh, upward deflections, especially in bridge structures where dead loads form a major portion of the total service loads. And this deflection may increase with time due to the effect of creep. Okay. And it is well established that fully pre-stressed members due to their higher rigidity have a lower energy absorption. So it has a less ductile behavior in the fully pre-stressed members so that's why it when it's about the dynamics of the structure it may take the energy less as it is so rigid the fully pre-stressed members but for a partially pre-stressed members which exhibit ductile behavior can take the energy with its dynamism or its ductility behavior so even the Fresinet who is known as father of pre-stress concrete who first advocated this full pre-stressing in the, in the early days but later observed that in a road bridge with the chance of an unfavorable load being applied twice in the life of the structure is 1 in 10,000 so there is no disadvantage if you allow only tensile stress to a limited degree and where the strains are appropriately guided means you are allowing the tensile for some portion of the tensile stress but you are not allowing so much strength in the structure that strain part is taken care of by the untensioned reinforcement okay so you can see one is the cost cutting part another it's lower it's higher energy absorption capacity another that when the load especially the unfavorable loads may come in has a very low probability then you should not go for fully pre-stressing because then the cost will be much more whereas you can just some portion of the tensile stress you can allow in the structure and that but and that part also can be taken care of by the untensioned reinforcement with obviously with the control of maximum with the tracks so hope you understood a little bit about this what is the basic difference between partial pre-stressing and full pre-stressing and what are the not all but some of the advantages of partially pre-stressing over full pre-stressing members I hope you understood thank you